Okay, I have no idea who's reading this is going to be for, so we're just going to go with it till I feel like it's somebody's or whatever. Might be a general reading, or it could be for somebody. You'll know if it resonates with you. Um, I did shuffle the cards a bunch of times, and I'm going to do it again just because I know some people like to hear them. Right. Who is this reading for? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Alright, so this could be a fire fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I should have said that the way. Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, so, me a fire sign. Alright. A fire sign that's possibly involved with a water sign. Or either you have both in your chart. Yeah, because I've seen three cups, which makes me think like your sun, moon, rising, being three. So, it's possible that you have fire in your chart, or fire in one of the three, and then water in one of the three. The Empress. Alright, so we're getting every fucking You're dealing with an Aries. Or either you are an Aries. So, if you're either... A Leo and Aries, which I said Aries twice, Aries. Okay, so Aries, this is probably your reading. Yeah, we're going to go with Aries for this one. Because you just got two cards in out of three. See how interesting that was? We just don't ever know what we're going to get. Alright, show me the past for Aries. Queen of Cups. Alright, so in the past, you... We're in love, very much in love with somebody that made you feel like a queen of cups and somebody that um, you had the most love you could possibly have for another human being. Like, that's something. Somebody. But that being queen of cups mode is like, you know, infinite amount of love. Like, more love than you could ever think of. So that's what you're getting for your past. Let's see what comes out um, to go along with that. So let's clarify the queen of cups in the past. Star, possibly an Aquarius you were dealing with, or either something about hope. So in the past, you were hopeful about love, about having so much love for somebody, or either you know you were you and you were dealing with an Aquarius. Either way, um, it's very possible. So we got that match, and let's move on to. What is their energy exactly? So let's see what we can get about them. So we can find out any more information. Six cups. Alright, so I've gotten cups twice. It's like from your past, no doubt. Obviously, though. Um, but areas you're looking at, definitely a water sign. Probably somebody that you had a lot of hope for. Somebody from the past that you were hoping would like I said, come back around, or either you had hope for the situation in the past, because you had loved them with so much love that you, um, wow, that you, and you were heartbroken, and I just turned the card deck over, and you had three swords at the bottom of the deck, so yeah, this Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Star, this is all in reference to a broken heart, this is all in reference to this Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy that you're carrying right now, um, or you did carry in this past situation, but first to pee in the past, and then to have Six of Cups, which is like a past card anyway. Um, definitely cancer. Why did I say cancer? I didn't say water sign. Cancer. I'm just cancer. It's cancer. I'm dealing with cancer. You don't know why I said that? You are, though. I'm going along with it. So, let's get where we're at so far. You are Aries. You're dealing with cancer. Y'all probably ain't been surprised. Y'all ain't been hurt each other by now. Because y'all two are not... Y'all don't G-horse very well. Alright, so what's the situation? What's the problem? What's the issue? Stuttering it's about the airy thing. Just kidding, just kidding. Oh shit. So that okay, I'm not even kidding you guys. Three swords just popped out of the damn deck again onto the floor. So obviously it's like bitch, we just told you three swords. <laughs> um, because I just asked what's going on and then it said three swords again after I mm, Okay. Smart ass. But anyways, yeah, it's obviously you're heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's hurting over the situation. 
like bring bad over the situation. Three Swords Heartbreak card. It's like something yelling about some shit. Like you have to scream at the top of your lungs. You just scream into the pillow or something. You just scream. It's weird. Seven of Pentacles in reverse popped out. Which tells me that it's like a lack of giving to yourself. A lack of giving to um, whatever this is that you need to be learning from. Like you're not putting yourself in a position to learn anything from this situation. I feel like with you in this Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you definitely aren't putting yourself in the right position to learn anything at all. Because you are not seeing something or either you're not observing the situation for what it is. I don't know if you've got a blinder on or if you just refuse to to give any more energy to it at all. I mean, which is a good thing if you're doing that. So what, what is... So that's the situation. But what is the advice? What is the advice for Aries that's dealing with the cancer? Okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hold on. Not a wand. I can't run the fuck away fast from this bitch. Oh my god. Leave. I get 9 of Wands, which is like, just do something first and ask questions later. And then I got 10 of Pentacles in reverse. And 9 of Wands is pretty much a fast, fiery energy. It's passion and stuff, but at the same time, it's like it's going in the opposite direction. I think you need to leave. 10 of Pentacles is in reverse. Tower, fuck yeah, dude! I can't, I could not have done that more perfect. Yes, the tower is what's gonna happen if you don't leave. That's your advice. Quite literally, it's, it's literally easy to see right here. I've literally got ten of pentacles, knight of wands, then the tower came out. As I shuffled, I, I pulled a card. It was the fucking tower in the upright position. On top of your knight of wands and your ten of pentacles, this is in reverse. If you don't leave this situation and get the fuck out of there fast. I'm talking, put some fire up on your ass and go. There's a tower coming. Don't know how, when, what, why, where. I don't know. You do. Somebody does. Not me. But you got something coming if you don't do that. And that's your advice. And that's what the projected outcome is going to be. Um, obviously, you know you got free will. And you can change whatever you need to change. But you're definitely dealing with cancer. Because the moon's at the bottom of the deck again. This is something you don't know about. Something that's coming out. I don't know if it's about them or if you're going to be the one. Because you got the... You got some shit here going on. You're hopeful for things. But it's somebody... It's definitely somebody from your past. It's definitely going to be a cancer. It's definitely going to be somebody like that. If it's not... If it's not, this is not your reading. So, don't make it fit if it don't fit. Alright, that's just it for now. And I'm going to do another one. And take my house inside. Because it is hot out in this building in Georgia. It's like 100 degrees. And it's fucking 1045 at night. It's hot. Makes no sense. But I don't like doing this in the house because it's quiet and peaceful out here. And I feel like I'm not like an idiot when I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> when I'm not in front of people. Alright guys. I'll talk to you later, Aries. I'm sorry about your reading. But I hope that it helped you. And, you know, life sucks sometimes. But sometimes it's just good to know that somebody can resonate with us sometimes on that level. I feel you. My life sucks right now too. I'm the cancer side of things. And the person's leaving me. So... It's weird how sometimes this works out. You know what I mean? So I see the other end of that. I feel your pain. Have a good night, Gary.